let's change the mindset let's change the paradigm and instead of us spending so much time focused on the person putting in the lead let's focus on our customer and let's fix the lead quality for them this is the one and only the original podcast where you can find yours and your business's true value you're listening to Our Value, brought to you by America's insulation source, IDI Distributors. Do you want to hear from the best contractors, suppliers, and consultants that dedicate themselves to more than just survival in the business world? Industry professionals that are dedicated to excellence in every aspect of their business? Our Value has them all here to share that same motivation and knowledge with you. Tune in and grow a more successful, profitable, educated, and recognized business. Listen to the Our Value podcast to become the industry leader in your market. Find your value with Our Value. Well, welcome to today's R Value podcast. Today, we're going to do something that some of you might think, why did you even do that? That's right. Today, we are talking to Angie, formerly Angie's List, formerly Home Advisor, formerly ImproveNet, if you go back 20 years. <laughs> so I'm talking with Ryan White. He is over corporate partnerships. He's been there seven years at Angie, and IDI has... Yep, we did it, guys. We signed a partnership with Andy. Best decision anyway. ever. Best <laughs> I don't think you're biased <laughs> at all. Nope. So, you know, I, I like that you guys realize that this is a tool that I can choose to turn on and off at any time. That way, if I'm slow, I can open it. If I'm, you know, busy or back, to, you know, booked for months, right. then I can turn it off. But that really doesn't bother you guys or hurt my standings with you. It doesn't move me backwards. It doesn't hurt you whatsoever. We we want it to provide a solution to where it's going to meet you where you are with your business. So if you need us to, if you're just now getting started in your business and you're looking and you're scratching your head trying to find marketing. Angie is a great solution for you because we can take care of your marketing for you. You get the leads, you book the deals, you know, we send, you know, we send you the leads. And at that point you take care of your business as you need to. All right. Um, and if you're experienced, you have a book schedule and you have jobs for the next two or three months. Well, what are you going to do when you have a cancellation? What if someone calls you up an hour before you're supposed to be there and they say, yeah, I need to put this off for a couple of weeks. Well, Angie is a product where you can literally from your iPhone or from your Android phone, hit a button and turn on leads. And we can present you to customers who were waiting to hear from a verified contractor at that point in time. So it doesn't hurt us one bit. We want to put and make this solution available for you so that it can help you in your business. And like I said, meet you where you need to be. I'm glad you said it the way you did, because I didn't really have this as a question, but can you address real quick? Because when you say you can present me to customers, you guys also have someone that's going to help me build out a site to really make the best presentation I can to those customers, correct? Oh, one, 100%. We have a what we call a national sales team. So the process would go this way. If you were to come on board with us, you will be assigned a one-on-one -on -one relationship with someone from our national team. And at that point, they will walk you through onboarding. So we're going to find out your zip codes you want work in. We're going to find out the type of work that you want. Um, we're going to find out how much, what's your monthly budget? What do you want to spend on, on leads and on your marketing? And we're going to set those parameters for you. Now, after that, what we'll do is we will walk you through the profile building where we will actually hold your hand and make sure that we get pictures. Spray foam is exciting. You know, I love even myself. You know, I love seeing the before and the after pictures. It's so rewarding. So you can actually display your before and after pictures, you know, of jobs that you've done previously or jobs you have coming up. You can put whatever pictures you want on there. We can put licensing on there. We can add, you know, you can add a deal. You can create a deal. There's a lot of different, you know, a lot of different, you know, ways that we can present you and make sure that your billboard, you know, if, if you would, looks good to the customer. So we're going to hold your hand, walk you through it every step of the way. No matter if you've used us before, no matter if you've used, this is your first time using us, we've made changes as a company. So we'll make sure to take everyone through that same process. 
So in that vein, um, because that's not included for just the average Joe, you, you've you got a specific thing for national partners, correct? They're, they're the ones that are getting this one-on-one -on -one and all of that? Yeah. So it's going to be, you know, with IDI, with the partnership, you know, we've made sure that, you know, once we get everything launched, once we get everything started, and as we see, you know, contractors coming on board with us, they're going to be specifically set aside for IDI to tap into. That way you're not searching and looking. You're going to have representatives that are going to be waiting for you to contact them. Perfect. So you mentioned some changes. What is the difference between Angie, Angie's List, Home Advisor? You know, what, what are some of those changes you guys have made? Yeah. So what I want to be clear about is Home Advisor is is the the Angie leads. Home Advisor is the, is the new Angie leads. Angie's list is Angie ads. Now, we are all under one roof. We are now one company. So it's just two different products under one umbrella, which is Angie. So Angie ads is going to be more of your display advertising. It's a it's a yearly contract to where we market your company online a year at a time and to where it's going to generate organic leads. People will find your Angie ads profile, submit a lead in, so that lead's going to be a little bit more exclusive, but you can't control when those leads come in, if you can turn them off. It is 24-7 constant advertising. It's almost like a Google page, if you would, now or, or a website. Now, Angie Leads is going to be your pay-per-lead to where you can control and you can act like a sniper. You can choose where you want those jobs to come from. For instance, if there's a part of town that you know, you know, economically, you know, they may not be able to handle, you know, a spray foam insulation. Well, in that case, with Angie ads, you're not able to filter that out. But with Angie leads, you can say, yeah, I don't want that zip code. Or I don't need that zip code because any leads that come in in that zip code, that consumer may not be able to handle my price point. So that's what makes it so exciting about the leads portion is you have a lot more control. You can turn it off. You can turn it on. But you still get the same type of profile that you would get with Angie ads. So you look very good online when you have both products. It handles all of your marketing and all of your exposure for you. It's really a matter of do I want more control or do I not care about, you know, how much control I have? And we have a lot of our successful partners that use both. They want to maximize their Angie ads with display advertising, but yet they love the idea of being able to, you know, pinpoint exactly what they want on the lead side. I like that. So then what would be the main difference, let's say, between you know, the Angie offerings and say something like Porch or Thumbtack or the the other companies. Yeah, they're the copycats. Um, and I'm just saying that to be funny, but they we, we've been in business the longest. Uh, we have the most volume. You know, that's the biggest thing is we have way we have double the site visits on both Angie ads and Angie leads that the nearest company to us would actually have. So therefore, on a competitive side of things, we're everywhere. You know, you're going to see our commercials a lot more or you see our commercials a lot more. You see us every every time you turn on, on a television, you're going to see an Angie, an Angie commercial. You know, on social media, we do a lot of advertising on social media. But as far as when you look and compare apples to apples, the exposure and the volume of people putting in requests online, we double and triple a lot of those other competitors. I like that. Now you told yep. me Angie is changing models in 2024 to a marketplace. Can you yep. elaborate on that? Yeah. So in 20, and we're working on it now. Um, matter of fact, we've already piloted in some locations and in some areas. So the way our marketplace option is going to work, how it works today, a customer goes in, puts in a request to hear from a contractor for spray foam insulation. Now, that lead can be sent up to up to four different contractors within that area, whether it's IDI, whoever it may be. I'm just giving you examples. It can be up to four different contractors, you know, max, no more than that. And the customer has to wait for those four people to contact him or her 
and then decide who she wants or who he wants to move forward with. All right. But they sit and wait for it to be contacted. Now, in the marketplace option, when the customer puts in their request, we're going to present them up to four different contractors that we deem are going to take care of them correctly. So what will happen at that point is the customer will choose from the lineup who they who he or she wants to hear from. So if she wants to hear from company A, she can click or he can click on, I want to hear from company A. I want to hear from company B. Oh, he, he has a lot of reviews. I love the fact he has a lot of reviews. Oh, company A has a lot of pictures. His pictures are amazing. All right. So she chooses two out of the four. Those two individuals will be presented her information. And at that point, she will choose how she wants to be contacted. And then she will you know, she will wait to be contacted by that contractor to see if there's an appointment available or see when they can set an appointment with her. I like that that sets up like one more filter, you know, just so that 100%. it's. Yeah. So then are leads ever exclusive? Like if I'm in rural Nebraska or Northeast Texas, are there times that I just wind up being the exclusive lead? There is. It It, it all depends on your area and the competition that's in your area. But yes, you know, there are times where you will only be the only one person who will get that lead. And then there's times to where it will be. If you're in Dallas, Texas, it may be, and more than likely, it will be you and three other people. So that's why the importance of on the onboarding piece to jump back to that, Ken. That's why it's so important when we onboard you to make sure you got you have good pictures, you have, you know, your information about your company, you have, you know, different products that you use. I mean, you fill out this profile as much as you possibly can because, like I stated, that is your billboard. Can you talk about the quality of leads and how old they are when I receive them? Yeah, the leads are real time leads. All right. They're they're real time. So it's based upon when that customer goes online and submits the lead in. Um, that will be sent out to the contractors real time. Now, Angie has historically, you know, one thing about me, Ken, I believe in just putting it out there and being up front with things. We've struggled in the last couple of years, you know, with our quality. You know, we have. But what we've done and what our CEO is pushing for and has pushed for for the last year, let's change the dynamic. Let's change the mindset. Let's change the paradigm. And instead of us spending so much time focused on the person putting in the lead, let's focus on our customer and let's fix the lead quality for them. So that's been our big push. That's the reason we're moving to the new marketplace option. That's the reason that we've decided to get rid of certain affiliates that were sending bad traffic or we were getting bad leads from. And so therefore, our goal and our focus has been focused on our customer, which is our contractors, versus creating the best experience for the customer that was putting in putting in the lead. That's what we focused on for the last few years, and it wasn't necessarily the right thing to do. So we're trying to rewrite our wrongs, and we are seeing improvement every single month in our quality to where, because you guys want to make money, you want conversions. That's what we're focused on helping you get to. Perfect. So do you have any stats or information on speed to lead? And you might want to explain speed to lead. Yeah. So speed to lead is when that lead comes into you, how quick you're getting on that lead. You always, and this is what I teach when I deal with any partner, uh, any corporation, any franchise group, you know, I talk about put yourself in the mindset of a consumer. When you put in a request for anything, whether it's for your own home, whether it's you're doing research for a product on Amazon, there's two things that you always look at as a consumer. You look at reviews, you look to see if, you know, if there's any skepticism that comes up. You know, that's or, or, or any red flags. You're looking for the red flags, right? So once again, I go back to making sure that profile profile is correct and making sure the profile looks good. But what speed the lead is, is when that lead comes to you, how quickly are you responding to that consumer? Are you waiting a day to call them? Are you waiting a few hours to call them because you were in the middle of a job, which is why Angie leads is really beneficial because if you're doing work, you can pause those leads. That way you're not getting leads while you're doing a spray foam job. You know, you can say, all right, you know, if you're not sitting in the office or you don't have your cell phone or whatever the case may be, you can pause those leads until you're able to actually make a phone call or take a phone call. So speed the lead is 
How quick are you able to respond to that customer? What we've shown historically from for the last couple of years, you want to call that lead within three to five minutes of receiving it. And the reason being is that gives the customer time to kind of get their wits ready because they're putting in this information. They may have put this information in on a competitor's site also. You know, that's one thing you got to keep in mind. They may have went to Facebook Marketplace and typed in, hey, I'm looking for spray foam insulation. Do you know anybody? You know, have them send me a message. They may do that also. But what three to five minutes does is you're catching this customer in the frame of mind that they're ready to book a job. So therefore, if you can stay within that three to five minutes, that's where you're maximizing your opportunity to have a conversation with that customer. On the flip side of that, what happens if on the very first contact, I realize I got a bad lead that was never really a prospect? Yeah. So we have a crediting process to where in the app, or even on the web portal, you can go in. When you get a lead, it's going to have a lot of different information on there. And one piece of a piece of information is the job number. That's how we can track every lead. Um, of course, there's going to be customer names and addresses and emails and phone numbers on every single lead with customer comments. But that job number, you can go into your app, and we will take you through this on the onboarding piece, and you can submit a credit for that lead. And at that point, our crediting team will look at that lead, you know, we'll verify it if it was, let's say it's a bad phone number or a bad address, and we will apply those credits as applicable and as quickly as we possibly can. That way you don't have to pay for that bad lead. Good deal. So in the same line, what about bad reviews or maybe one that's actually incorrect? Maybe I had to place a lien on somebody. Can I literally say, hey, this customer is, you know, doesn't pay or, or whatever? I mean, what, what yeah. rights do I have? So on the review side of things, we are a review side for the contractor. So the only time that a customer gets involved, like I said, is either they're going to put a positive review on your profile or a negative review. Unfortunately, we don't have any way uh, because the customers don't have a profile with us. They're just a customer at this point. So we're not able to say, okay, this customer doesn't do what they need to do, et cetera. We can't do any of that. But on the contractor side, if a customer, let's say, you know, we all have situations that come up and sometimes the customer's expectation is not met because of different reasons or whatever the case may be. So the customer may, be, may feel um, that they want to put a bad review. So what happens is, is we have a review team. So any review that comes out, whether it's positive or negative, we verify. We verify with the contractor. We verify on the negative ones. We verify with the contractor and get their side of the story. And with the customer, we get their side of the story. And we try to work with both parties to eliminate you from getting a bad review on your profile. You know, if you were to get a bad review, what I coach is, is immediately go in and type what happened on that review because you can contest a review based on what the customer typed in or what they wanted to type in. You can contest that immediately, but we have a review team that will look at all negative reviews and we can make changes or we can delete the review, whatever the case may be. Something that I found unique that Google just did it recently. I don't know if you guys have done this, but their reviews are now searchable by keyword. Literally, if I wanted to pull up you know, pest control in Tucson, I would find 72 of them. When I type in the word scorpion under reviews, it nails it to six. Three of them look like they don't know what they're doing. Three look great. One looks like right. Dr. Death. I'm like, I want you. You know, so do you have them searchable by uh, term? You know, if, yeah, because I, if I'm doing insulation, the, the term insulation by itself is very broad, but some people type in insulation when looking for sound attenuation. Right, right. So it, are your reviews or anything searchable by keyword? No, they're, they're not on the Angie profile. Now, where it gets a little tricky is we allow you to import your last five Google reviews to your AMG profile. So what that does is it makes it searchable at that point in time. Okay. That makes sense. I, I like yep. that. Now, 
something you know we've talked about insulation and and spray foam can you talk about the splits and how they're working for contractors historically up until november 29th of 2023 we didn't have a spray foam insulation category whatsoever it was literally insulation home insulation that was it so what we did is we decided to do the research we spoke with a lot of insulation companies a lot of insulation franchises and we would ask them what do you want and the number one request was split out between the types of insulations a customer can choose from so we made the change so in november 29th so literally about you know, a little less than a month ago, we split out the insulation category to now one of our task options is spray foam insulation. And it has been a hit so far. People are loving it. They are excited about it. They're not. And some of you guys that have been with us before, you remember those days to where it was literally just insulation and that was it. All right. It was your traditional insulation methods. And those were the only choices that you had. But now we have an actual spray foam insulation category, task category. And I like the, uh, not only the split, when we were talking about fees and things, uh, we got on, you know, different locations, zip codes. The fact that a spray foam lead is really 30 to $60. I, I think that that's well within reason, you know, 60 For in sure. Dallas, 30 in Waco was the example we used, but I thought that was, was more than reasonable. So now can you talk about how the leads are delivered? Because we talked about, you know, the app, getting a phone call or, you know, just ways you communicate in order to get these out. Yep. So, of course, you have access to the portal. If you have the app downloaded on your phone, you will be notified on your cell phone when you receive a lead or when a lead comes in. And then we can also set it up and we go over this in your onboarding to where you can receive a call when you have a lead. So we can do either or and we can email that lead to you. So if you want an email, a text, a phone call, any method of communication, we can do one or we can do all. It's really up to you. And we walk you through that on your onboarding. We literally ask you, how do you want us to send you the lead? Do you want to receive a text? Do you want email? Do you want a phone call? Do you want all three? Let me know how you want us to, to get this lead over to you. So it's really simple. It's super easy. And we make sure, like I said, we want to meet you where you are with your business. Lastly, I, I want to talk about the big one. And that is uh, you graciously have offered a, a limited time offer to get IDI contractors to, you know, give Angie a try or give Angie a second try. Um, I think that's fantastic, but, uh, do you want to explain yeah. that? Because I know we're coming out in the February podcast. I got that all set up. So by the yeah. end of February, everybody's going to know. So I'll let you lay it out there. Yeah. So what we're going to do for IDEI specifically, typically anyone that comes in on Angie, you have to pay a yearly membership, which is $287 and 99 cents a year. Now, for IDI, we're going to waive that membership for a limited time, okay? Once we get live, once you guys, we'll keep you guys updated on what we're going to do for you, but we're going to waive that membership. Your first year is going to be completely free. You don't have to worry about a membership for your first 12 months of being on Angie. Now, the way that the offer will work is that we will ask you to put up $300 that you would use towards your initial leads. So you're paying and prepaying for $300 in leads right up front. And then what we're going to do is match that. So therefore, you are going to pay $300 to get going. You have $300 in leads at $30 to $60 per lead. You can kind of do the math behind that. And then we're going to match that. So we're going to give you another $300 that you can use towards your leads. So that gives you a total of $600 as a credit on your account that you would use towards your leads to get started. And that's a really good amount of money in order for you to really get a chance to get your feet wet back in the program. Um, and, you know, this is an ROI business. So we definitely want, we will try to put you in a situation to where, yes, I paid $300, but I booked six, seven, eight, nine different installation jobs for, you know, for the next 30 days. 
that's a great return on your investment. So we want to put you in that situation. So once again, we're going to waive that membership. You will not pay a membership fee up front, you know, for the first year. $300 goes towards a lead credit, and then we're going to match that. So you're going to get a total of $600 in lead credits added to your account once you get started with us. I think that's fantastic. Guys, one thing you need to understand about this, though, you, it's not indefinite in terms of signing up. You need to have signed up with Angie and get your billboard, so to speak, by April 15th. So if you just look at it as whenever you're hearing the podcast, you have until tax day to activate this and get going on it. Once that happens after that, you still get the corporate benefits. You're still going to have, you know, one person helping you set everything up, making you look good, build your billboard. But we know spring is one of the low times in terms of leads. If you've got an, a gap or an opening, that's fine. Either way, I mean, you can put in your $300 and use your leads later, but you've got to get on, get activated, and get things built by tax day. So I just want to be clear about that because it's not an indefinite thing. We're, yep. you know, we're, we're giving this a shot, and I really hope you give it a try. Whenever you're ready to take advantage of the Angie deal, reach out to Ryan White. That's ryan.white at angie.com or call him at 720-853-3140. Ryan, I, I have to say you are tremendous at describing the Angie opportunity. I, I yeah. really enjoyed this conversation. Thank you for yeah, coming so, on and so doing this. Yeah. Yeah. And I've worked with 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 contractors from literally, you know, individuals that have woken up and said, I'm starting a business or they lost a, a corporate job and they say, I'm starting a business. I, I've helped individuals grow their business from there. And like what I do now is I work with a lot of franchises across the country and growing those franchise groups. So I'm passionate about what I do. I believe in this product. I can honestly say that there was a time to where I was like, what the heck are we doing? You know, but I can But as of today and moving forward and what has transpired over the last six months, we are a new Angie. You know, this isn't the old Angie. This isn't the bad Angie. We're a new Angie. So we would love the opportunity to not only gain your trust, but just we would love the opportunity to, to work with each and every one of you and help you help you grow your business wherever you are. Big, small, medium, little, we're there for you. We want you to really understand that right up front. Well, that is awesome. Guys, you heard it straight from them. I really think it's worth a shot. But thank you so much for listening to the R Value podcast today. Thank you for being part of IDI's group of contractors out there making a difference in the world. If you have questions about Angie, about spray foam, about sound attenuation, or any of the products or services we offer, Please reach out to your local branch or any of us at IDI where we look forward to earning your business every day. Yeah.